I'm working on this painting that initially was dedicated solely to people that are fighting for gay rights in persecuted countries. <clears throat> and then it started to turn into people that are fighting for gay rights everywhere. And Googled Miley because I realized, because because it suddenly clicked in my head after I had already planned a lot of the painting that she's pretty much the most significant gay rights activist alive right now. Um, <clears throat> I think. I mean, there, there have been other people that are still alive that were very significant in the past, people like Elton John. But right now, she is that influential of a gay rights activist. And um, so I, I was going to put her on there. And then I saw that Cody read her a poem or something. And then I saw that I don't want to watch Bright Minded ever again. Okay. Which is kind of true. Cause, but the, but, the, but the, here's the thing about that. Um, it doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong about her. I'm right in general. So, um, in all probability, she's not who I think she is. But that doesn't mean that I don't see how big of a, how, how significant of a gay rights activist she is and how significant she is in um, helping people that are persecuted because they, it's like an itch, right? Your sexuality. You, you can't help your sexuality. And so um, there are so many people, like, I, I, I mean, not so many people, but there are 47 people in, in Egypt that are in prison right now for being gay. So there are a lot of people that are in prison for being gay, and that's not counting the amount of people that are in prison in their mind because they're afraid of their society. And they think there's something wrong with them, and that's why there's such a huge depression problem in the gay community. And so, um, when, so, um, I, I'm still working on the painting, and it's, it, the, it is the painting for Miley. It wasn't initially... Um, but then it became for her because I realized how important you don't understand how important it is until it's you who's not allowed to exist. You're not allowed to exist as you, you are. And that's why I, I, I never understood Pete Buttigieg. I mean, I, I still don't understand how Pete Buttigieg could join the military and lie about being gay, which you can say, well, I didn't lie. Your existence is a lie if you join the military and you're gay. And so I understand it's like, no, we allow them, but we only allow the gay people that are, are liars. That aren't confident in their sexuality. That might actually have higher tendencies towards depression because they are so conflicted about who they are because they still think there's something... I mean, if Pete Buttigieg is a Christian, I think he thinks there's something wrong with who he is, and there's nothing wrong with who he is, and that's that's my concern about Pete Buttigieg. And if you join, if you're willing to lie about your entire, like, I think that your 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 relationships. Who are you? I'm my relationships. That's I think that's a lot of us. We're our entertainment and our relationships. You know, we're we're the stuff we enjoy and the stuff we enjoy to do and then we're the the relationships we have with people and if you your entire if you, if you have to lie about the people that you have relationships with I, I mean I just don't get it but um yeah I think I'm gonna take a break from Bri I mean I, I made it through um Miranda Kerr but that's I think I'm I think I don't want to even see that because the reality is it doesn't matter if I'm right about Miley because I'm going to be right about more things than I realize. And, um, if there's anything I know is that I am so happy with being right about Lizzie.